By default, when you delete a folder or file, Windows just sends your folder file into Recycle Bin so that you can recover it if needed. To get rid of all your deleted files permanently, you have to empty the Recycle Bin. In some cases, you may want to delete the files or folders directly without sending them to the Recycle Bin. There are two ways to do this. Use keyboard shortcut to delete files folders without sending them to Recycle Bin. Open Windows Explorer and select the folders files that you want to delete. Press Shift and Delete or press Shift and right click and select Delete from the context menu. A pop-up message appears asking to verify the deletion of the file permanently. Click on S to confirm to delete the files without sending them to Recycle Bin. Open Recycle Bin. The deleted file is not there in the Recycle Bin. Bypass Recycle Bin when deleting files. You can change the Recycle Bin settings so that even when you delete files without the keyboard shortcut, the files are deleted permanently. Right click on the Recycle Bin and select Properties. Select the option Don't move files to the Recycle Bin. Remove files immediately when deleted. Make sure you also check the box Display Delete Confirmation dialog. During deletion, you will get a confirmation message so that you won't delete something accidentally. Repeat the above step for other drives for which you don't want deleted files to go to the recycle bin. If you do this for C drive only, the files deleted from other drives will still be moved to recycle bin. Click on Apply and OK. Now, whenever you delete a file from any drive, the file will not go to Recycle Bin but will be immediately deleted permanently. You may get a prompt to confirm permanent file deletion based on your settings. Click on S to delete the file. The file was not sent to the Recycle Bin. You can restore the settings to default anytime you want. Open Recycle Bin Settings and select Custom Size. Deletion does not remove the data from your storage drives immediately even if you have permanently deleted them. When you permanently delete files and folders in Windows, only the path to access the files or folders is deleted from the Master File Table MFT. Therefore, you can easily recover them with a data recovery software and so can others. So, if you want to get rid of your sensitive information, private videos, pictures and other confidential files, it is recommended to use a data eraser tool which is used to destroy data beyond any recovery.